Hi everyone, so today I'd like to make a message that's titled When God Hides Something and I don't mean to be laughing because this is a serious subject but the joy of the Lord has come up on me and I, I just feel so happy. I've been laughing all day um, just because being in God's presence and serving the Lord is my joy, my everything. So. If I'm laughing, if I'm smiling, it's not because what I'm saying is not serious, guys. So, um, when God hides something is something that I've been thinking about a lot because of my own experience, first of all, because when I first started serving Him, you know, he, he told me some things like short term, medium term, and long term that I was going to do. And I didn't understand like the time, his timing, the timing of things that were supposed to unfold. And whenever I would go to like a church, I would always be waiting for somebody to like confirm these things. And because they weren't, I was thinking that maybe I heard wrong or maybe I imagined it, um, the things he was showing me. But then I realized that it just wasn't the time yet. And it reminds me of um, when Mary was telling Jesus to do something about like the wine running out of the wedding. And he was like, it's not my time yet. And when you're in the wilderness, God will purposely hide your anointing. He will hide your talents. He will hide your gifts. He will hide you from people and people will kind of just like look you over and it's easy to fall into like depression when you see that because you're like you know god said that i was gonna do this and this and that and nobody can see it like are they blind or whatnot but i realized um through like research and through different things that it's just he will hide you for different purposes and you have to be okay with that uh, it doesn't mean that what he said is not going to come to pass because of course it will but it's just not time and it's the same thing with like people that are like waiting to be married and sometimes they're like well why why are not more guys or girls like trying to date me like and it's because so, well I mean all the time God has like that special somebody for you and he's not trying to have you court like all the wrong people like so it doesn't mean that you're not great and that there's not somebody that God has for you it just means that it's just not time and God's hiding you for different purposes uh, the other thing that God hides is upcoming prophecies uh, not that he, he's like hiding it because they're obviously already written but certain like how exactly it's gonna be uh, he will hide it in a way that people will have like different interpretation and it will cause some division between people because you know I mean let's take for example like the rapture you know people are like keep fighting about that and you know we're, we're not gonna exactly know until it actually happens and is the same things with um, a lot of like the book of Revelation a lot of people fight about it but it's like maybe it's not meant for us to know exactly like how it's gonna be and for us to fight over it is just kind of pointless and the same thing with like when Jesus is gonna come it explicitly says that no one knows the day or the hour so I was thinking yesterday like if if somebody makes a prediction that he's gonna come for example tomorrow then that means he's not gonna come tomorrow because God said no one knows the day or the hour not even the angels not even Jesus himself so for you to say that you know and that is gonna be tomorrow then it by default means that it can't be tomorrow because God said no, nobody um, knows. So 
if you don't want Jesus to come tomorrow, then say he's going to come tomorrow. Then he's not going to come tomorrow. But there's like other examples, um, you know, the body of Moses, how, you know, no one knows where, where it was, where it was buried. Uh, God concealed it. There, there's different things that if, if God tries to conceal something, it doesn't matter how much you try to speculate or how much you try to find out. You will not find out. You cannot find out something that God has purposely hidden. So we have to have the wisdom to just let the prophecies happen and just have the wisdom to be like, you know, I'm going to put it aside and it's going to happen perfectly as God said it, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be happening exactly how you thought it was going to happen. <sighs> but yeah, I think that's it. I love you guys. God bless you. I pray that all of you get more wisdom today. I love you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.